Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is the Laminar RM1 stock cooler that comes with most of Intel's Socket 1700 CPUs. I found it to be perfectly adequate for the handful of i3s and i5s I've tested on this channel, if not a little noisy under heavy load. It has aluminium fins with a plastic surround and a copper core. Personally I prefer something a little bulkier to keep my processor cool, but aftermarket solutions don't have to be expensive. There are plenty of lower cost and capable capable options out there. One such example is made by Intel themselves. This is the Laminar RH1, and just like the RM1, it is designed for 65 watt processors, and it ships with the higher end 12900, 13900, and 14900, along with their F series counterparts. Despite what the Intel site states, I've seen a handful of online retailers selling these recently for as little as a tenner. At this price, I just had to get one to see if it would keep my eye five any cooler. After all, it certainly looks the part. It's taller, uses larger aluminium fins, and has an ARGB light ring, which we all know adds more frames straight out of the box, right? We also have an adjustable Intel logo, which doesn't move with the fan. I really like this little detail. It also comes with a backplate as well as stainless steel fasteners, so it feels like a more premium product. The extra cable is for the aforementioned lighting, if you have the appropriate motherboard connector of course. The copper column comes with pre-applied paste, but in the interest of a fair test I used the same Arctic MX4 paste with both. The RH1 certainly suits my black and white ASUS board, and by default the lighting syncs up with the motherboard itself. This can be controlled through the ASUS Armory Crate software. My favourite setting was the one that set the colours to indicate the temperature, green being the coolest and red being the warmest. I couldn't find any option to map this button and it doesn't seem to do anything when I press it. This is most certainly user error though. <laughs> Now this is all well and good and so far playing with the lights has given me £10 worth of enjoyment but is it actually any better than the little boxed cooler we get by default with my i5-12400F? The idle temperature was already improved, the beefier RH1 cooler kept our processor at 31 degrees compared to 36 but both of these are fine. I then ran a Cinebench multi-core render test for 10 minutes. The CPU reached its max all-core clock speed of 3994 MHz with both coolers, and while our i5 did hit 77 with the RM1, we saw a very nice 69 degrees with the RH1. Not a massive difference in my opinion, but considering the chunkier fella here is also quieter under load, this is more than just a victory by numbers alone. I then benchmarked Cyberpunk 2077 and recorded the peak temps after half an hour. The little RM1 isn't that bad and 75 degrees is fine in my opinion. There was no thermal throttling here and the whirring of the fan was almost inaudible when I had my headphones on. That said, the RH1 remained quieter and peaked at 8 degrees lower. Maybe I was expecting it to do a little better, but it's hard to complain when the temperatures have improved. Not bad at all, for £10. It's worth noting that there are some thermal right coolers that sell on Amazon for not much more, and I imagine they do a better job, but maybe that's a comparison for another day. Let's say then you've found a decent deal on a 65 watt CPU, it doesn't come with a cooler and you want something that feels like it's of fairly decent build quality and attaches easily to your motherboard, or without breaking the bank. This could be just what you're looking for, or not. I'll leave a link down below to where I got it. The deal might have expired by the time you watch this, but I've seen it at a few retailers now. As always, let me know what you think down below and I'll see you all in the next one.